I just remember April 17th, it was a Friday, I got a call. My doctor asked, is there any way that you can get here as soon as possible? And I said, sure. I just remember the doctor coming in and just hearing the words, it's cancerous. And it's a rare sarcoma called alveolar soft part sarcoma. <laughs> I'm sure he thought I was crazy because I just had a smile on my face. The first question I asked was, what do we do? How old were you? 21. But one thing that I remember is I had gotten a call from your doctor and they had taken a scan of your lungs because that's usually the first place where tumors metastasize to. And he told me to plan for end of life because your lungs had been so heavily filled with tumors. Yeah, see, I mean, after 30, they kind of stopped counting and they said inoperable. And I just remember already hearing about this Dr. Rolla, and he was in Germany, and that's not usually what you think of as a Europe trip. <laughs> that experience, I feel like, was really a beginning of you and I, you know, like, the beginning of our journey. We made lemonade <laughs> out of the, all those lemons. Your healing went so quickly, and it was actually a miracle to see how fast you came out of it after the first surgery. Ever since then, it's just been miracles. Especially the one time when you had already had stereotactic radiation for the four tumors in your brain, and your first oncologist's nurse had said, there's nothing that we can do. And then suddenly there's this physician's assistant that just comes in and she goes, oh, we can do brain surgery. He's a great candidate for this particular procedure. And I said, okay. <laughs> so another blessing. We've always made it through. And so there's nothing that we can't handle, even though it's still ongoing. And I'm just really grateful for you always being there and but you know that I am the one who has been grateful for your strength for your courage for your faith just saying hey like you say what are we gonna do now standing up again and waking up the next day and saying okay we've got another day mm -hmm. together and that's what I'm always so grateful for you know I remember making it my goal with Heavenly Father that I will never give up if He never gives up. And so we're still here. It helps so much to have everybody else. I love you. I love you so much.